Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to yet another episode of your Rockford Reds franchise mode. So in this one, we're going to go through the trade deadline, wrap up the season, all that fun stuff. Uh, but you know, I was I was taking a look, you know, because this league is very much youth driven. There's yet another franchise player this year, Bryant Barney. He's looking really good. It it would be sick to pair them up. I don't think it's going to happen. Cole Eiserman, also someone worth taking a look at. Uh, I don't know. I don't think he's going to fit nearly as well as um, Bryant or Bryant Barney would, but you know, it's it's worth a look. Certainly worth a look. No defenseman really up here this year, which is a little bit upsetting, as we obviously need some more defensemen. We'll add Ashton Hull there to the list. Uh, Von Arks, sure. Jacuzzi. I swear to God, that name is a joke. To any to any you know Mr. or Mrs. Jacuzzi out there, I, I apologize, but like I'm fairly certain that's a joke. Yeah, so I mean it's not it's not awful. It's definitely a solid uh, solid thing. But that being said, I really feel like we have a good shot this year. I'm gonna keep my current trade block. We're gonna enter the trade deadline. So that being said, I have no idea what we have for draft picks. I might try to grab some more, to be honest. What are we looking like draft pick wise? We have a second, couple thirds. Not looking too bad, a few fourths. Uh, but is there anybody here who I'm like, I would be willing to part with you? Obviously not Sanford, not Patterson, not McCollum, not Geeky, not Piper. Now, I would be willing to part with you. I would definitely be willing to part with you. Um. Anybody else? I mean, Sword, kinda. You know, like. Tulio, I would get rid of for sure. So let's see. What, could that get me, like, a. Can you guys you want to trade your pick? No. 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 Is anybody's first on the block at all? Houston, Saskatchewan. Let me see if I can get Moscow's first and their second. Uh, they got to give us some players back. So let's look here. We would take uh, Andreoff. Oh, no, we would not. Obviously, Matt. Be oh, no, I don't want that. Parker would be such a nice pick to have right now, honestly. Not what I wanted to do. Who all was it? That was Nawson. That was Tulio. And you, I believe. Those were the three. Okay, you're a buyer. Houston would be over the league maximum salary cap. They wouldn't, but I appreciate the thought, I guess. So let me let me just see like if I if I threw in a fourth, how's that looking? No. Oh my god, upcoming years we have next to nothing. Um, you know, I would throw in Jaska Linen or however you say it. 42. Yeah, you guys are going to have a first round pick worth next to nothing. Okay, there we go. I'm I'm very happy with that, but like let I want to see is it possible to grab another? Cuz the more shots that I have at this the better. Like, obviously, the more chances you have to win that draft lottery, the better chances you have of winning it, you know? It's late. Don't don't think about it. Don't think too hard about what I just said. Good lord. Uh, okay. Engren has the rookie goalie. Don't mind it. Don't love it. Um, I would trade Sword. He's 20 and 66 overall. He's probably not going to get to be much. 
I would throw Jaskalinen in there because we're going to get more, uh, what do you call them? I'll throw in Miami's third. What if I make it Stockholm's third? There we go. Okay. So now we have two first round picks. I like that. Um, let's take a look. What what is Saravi? No. Just honest to God, no. Madison Bowie. I would take Di Pietro. If we could get him, I would give up. I give up Picard for one to equal out the contracts. And then I give up a fourth. What if I made it two fourths? Would that would that tickle your fancy? Hmm. I'll throw in a bunch of backup potential guys here. You know, his contract's expiring, it's fine. They would have too few goalies. Who else could I give them? Uh Garand, sure. Okay, and we're gonna exit on that. Uh, Di Pietro is a good level, a good level of goalie. So I, I feel pretty comfortable with what just happened there. Sadly, we have to redo the lines, but it'll be all right. In goal, how we look in Di Pietro and Wolf. That's exactly what I want. Okay, cool. Now we'll edit the lines again. So I'm, I'm still not really sure. Uh, what exactly we wanted to do in terms of who goes where for this this setup. Um, uh, it's just so tough. It really is. I I think that we're going to roll with this. Because this, this got us decent results. That being said, I think this actually got us the best results. But we're going to roll with this for now. I mean, maybe, hell, even... Even this got us okay results, but like, I really want Patterson to grow because he's got the elite potential. Um, down here, what was it? You were playing. Martel was not playing. Pearson was playing. Chase Pearson is the fourth line center. Definitely want Taylor McCollum playing. Okay. So with that in mind, let's let's go ahead and let's wrap up this season here, huh? Let's get to it. The teams to keep an eye on for us, uh, we have Miami, who are in our division, and then we have, who was the other one that we traded with? Um, league. Uh, Saskatoon and Miami. That's right. Um, so they're, they're going to be here, wouldn't they? Yes, yeah, Stags are third, so they have a, they have a chance to miss. It's definitely possible. Uh, we're going to go ha Yeah, we'll go... We'll go up to here, and then we'll take a look. Okay, we lost the Pirates in overtime. That's fine. Win. There we go. Come on, get some wins now. Win. Win. There we go, baby. If we can beat Miami, that's huge. And we do. Lost, but come on. Okay. How are the Stags doing? They're still in a playoff spot pretty comfortably, too, sadly. 
The Myths obviously are doing pretty well. Piper's leading us with 77 points. Um, 73 for Stahl on the third line. 70 for Peltier. Marchenko with 60. Patterson with 60. Sanford with 52. Hmm. We're going to have to figure something out there. Oh, no, I don't want to do that. I want to go back to this. Thank you. So let's go ahead. Let's simulate the rest of the year. Let's see how it goes. W, W, W. Oh. W, come on. Give me some dubs. No. Win. 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 Great, we have a losing streak going into the playoffs. Stags make it with 103. Yeah. Okay. Our first round picks are going to be outside of the lottery. Um, hopefully they go quickly. But we are taking on the New York Narwhals in the first round of the playoffs here. For points this season, it looks like Dane Piper led us with 88, 79 out of Eric Stahl, 78 out of Peltier, 71 out of Marchenko, 69 from Patterson, 63 from Sanford, and then it drops off. How about in goal? Really good stats from Wolf when he played. Uh, Di Pietro, all right, not great, uh, but you know what? That's fine. That's fine. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe for more. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out and goodbye.